You think leap years are every four years? Not quite. That was the rule in the Julian calendar, but that was a bit off. In 1582, we switched over to the Gregorian calendar, and the new leap year rule is that generally leap years are every four years, but if the year ends in 00, zero it's not a leap year, unless the other digits are a multiple of four. So, for example, the year 2000, which is in most of our lifetimes, was a leap year because 20 is a multiple of 4. But the years 1700, 1800, and 1900 were not leap years. The year 2100 will not be a leap year. This is based on the year being not 365.25 days, that was the Julian calendar, but rather 365.2425 days. That's the length of the Gregorian year, which we now observe. In 325, at the Council of Nicaea, it was decided that Easter should be celebrated on the same day by all Christians, and it was determined that it should be the Sunday after the full moon after the vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere. Everyone can see when there's a full moon and the first day of spring, the vernal equinox, can be measured. But over the centuries, the seasons began to drift through the calendar year. And that's because the Julian calendar was off. So, in the Council of Trent in the 1500s, the church decided they needed to have a calendar reform. And this was finally done in 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII. He instituted the calendar reform. They skipped 10 days to get back on track. They went from October 4th to October 15th overnight. And the seasons were fixed again to the calendar. Now, the Gregorian calendar isn't perfect either. The Gregorian calendar's days are numbered. There are other calendars that are more accurate than the Gregorian calendar, such as the revised Julian calendar. There's also the Persian calendar, or the solar hedri calendar, which is based on astronomical observations each year, determining the number of days between vernal equinoxes. A perfect calendar, in fact, can't even exist. If you want it to be based off of astronomical observations, then we can't always plan ahead. If we want to be able to plan ahead, then we're going to have to disregard changes in Earth's orbit and its spin. For example, as the moon is receding away from Earth, it is slowing Earth's spin down. This is due to tidal evolution in the Earth-Moon system. At some point in the future, we won't have approximately 365 days a year. It'll be fewer, but days will be longer. The Earth's orbit around the Sun could also change, too. We don't even know what's going to happen if we're going to have a star coming into our solar system and disrupting the orbits of the planets. That could happen. So, the Gregorian calendar is a decent trade-off for now. Will we get to a more accurate calendar that is universally observed? It's possible, but we don't know for sure if the world is going to be ready to just switch over to a new calendar all of a sudden. There are lots of things that have been planned out for the future and all those would have to be changed. Perhaps in the future when we colonize Mars, if that happens, we'll need some more universal system. As you can see, I'm fascinated by calendars, and I hope to make more videos about calendars. I hope to make more videos about astronomy. I also want to make more videos of philosophy that talk about science and faith and the relation between them. So if you're interested in those types of videos, subscribe to my channel so that you can find out when I post them. Anything else you want to know?